I suppose the challenge with it, working on any of these Marvel films is coming up with a specific contained story and still having it fit into the Marvel Universe at large. Certain events have happened since the very first Ant-Man until the second one that we're doing now, Civil War being one of them. And so we had to address things that happened to my character in the interim uh, and then imagine what might have happened to other characters like Hope and Hank uh, during that time as well. So we start this film uh, dealing with the aftermath of having gone to Germany and fought in civil war and how that affected our story now. Uh, once we kind of deal with those particulars, uh, we get very much into a story that is contained and that people will understand and follow and be invested in even without having seen Civil War. You know, one of the things that I really like about playing this character is that um, he is thrown into these extraordinary circumstances. I mean, truly shrinking and flying around on ants and uh, entering quantum realms and uh, life-threatening stuff. And yet, uh, one thing that we've always tried to uh, sustain, when I say we, I mean uh, me because I speak of myself in plurals, uh, is this way of dealing with everything with a little bit of a sense of humor and, and not uh, giving into the threat, but kind of a carefree attitude about it. And I, that's, that's fun to do. I think that Peyton and I, since he even came on board the first time around, one of the things that we um, both agreed on is the type of movie we wanted to make and, and uh, how important the laughs were in creating something that was original within this genre that is easily, uh, you can easily be a little saturated, you know, a little, it's like, okay, what's new in a superhero movie? Um, and so we wanted to, have, we always wanted to make these things uh, fun and uh, still be emotional and still be wowed with some visuals, but uh, making them funny too. Well, one of the things that uh, everybody knows is that it's very hard for felons <laughs> to try and get a job and go straight. Uh, and we are making a go of it. Luis and I, and then the two other guys, the Wombats, they, um, uh, we formed a company called XCon Security. And so we are a new company but we will provide security to your business or your home. And uh, you know we have a big account that we just need to land. And um, that kind of comes back later on in the story. But this is where we have found ourselves on. The, we're, on the, we're on the straight and narrow and giving it a, 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 good, a good go of it. I do think this story D covers a lot of bases, it checks a lot of boxes. They can expect to be emotionally invested, uh, hopefully with uh, not just my relationship with my daughter, my relationship with Hope, with Hank, Hank and Janet, Hope and Janet, Hope, like everybody uh, has a connection with one another and, and hopefully people will relate to that. The visuals are, as always, stunning with most Marvel films, but this is bananas. And uh, there are action sequences that have, you've never seen before.